Hi, this is David McCamp for WebTNG. In this video, I'm taking a quick look at a plugin called LatePoint. It's a booking plugin. It's been around for a while, but you might not have heard of it because until recently, it's been sold on Code Canyon. They've started selling it on their own website, and it's getting some more attention because Brainstorm Force, the makers of the Astra theme, They've invested in LatePoint and they're going to be integrating it in with some of their products like ZipWP and Surecart. So this is the LatePoint website. There are just a couple of things I wanted to show you on here. We'll look at the add-ons in a few minutes. I wanted to show you here's the regular pricing that they have. One website, five websites, or ten websites. And then they have a basic plan, which does not include any of the add-ons. See, there are quite a few add-ons here. And they have a pro plan that does include them all. Okay, and I think with a basic plan, you're able to buy these a la carte. Then the other thing I wanted to show you here is on their support page, they do have quite a few articles for getting started and setting it up and whatnot. Okay, and they do have instructions also for developers to create things like your own integrations. Here is a test site that I have set up. And, you know, I've got custom post type teams or whatever, but generally there's not a lot on this site. And I'm going to add the late point plugin. So here I've uploaded the plugin. I'll click install. And when I activate it, then we go to a setup wizard. You can skip the wizard by clicking up here. So we'll go in and basically they want you to set up the minimum you need to use the plugin. So we'll do that. We'll have our user called Ann Winslow and Okay, we can add her photo and we save, we can add another agent, we can create a service, so we'll say pre-sales call, I don't have an image for this right now, and we can add another service, but we'll go next, then this is your calendar. This is kind of the overall work hours. You can tweak this and have exceptions and things as we'll see. Right now we'll turn off the weekend. Go next. And then you go to a dashboard. Okay, here you see your performance. This is going into the past. This is set up by default to go back a month so you can see how you've been doing. Here you can see what's coming up. You can manually enter a new booking. Here's your pending bookings, your activity log. You can click in here to search. Then down here, this is your daily view. So this is nice if you're doing appointments all day, you can come and check here. Then here are the calendars. You know, we can edit the working hours. Here are the appointments. We don't have any appointments yet. Payment, we haven't set up payments yet. We don't have any customers yet. Services, this is what we set up. We can edit this. You can add categories for your services. Here's the agent. You can add new agents. Locations, if you have multiple offices and there's a locations add-on. Now here are the add-ons. Like I said, you can buy them a la carte, but if you have the pro plan, then they're all included. So here's custom fields, so you can add more fields to your booking form, role manager, taxes, webhooks for integrations, chat, coupons, Google Calendar and Google Meet, group bookings, locations, MailChimp, Braintree, Flutter, so there's some payment options here. Okay, quite a few. Reminders, tweak service, you know, your time slots. You can have add-on services, Twilo, texting, 
time zone selector, and zoom integration. Then here are the settings. So you have statuses. These are internal for your agents. You have your clock and your intervals. You have the option to show appointment in times, enable verbose date, let's turn that on for the in times. You can have time restrictions, you know, how far in advance and what's the last point before the event that people can book. And quantity, this is for future, for recurring bookings. Then your currency and currency formatting. Phone options, you can validate the phone number, you can show the country code, flag next to the international prefix. You have color options to kind of match a theme, and you can hide the picker when there's only one time slot available. You can hide slot availability count. You have the option one agent at a time, only one agent can be present at a location at a time, one agent can perform different services simultaneously, allow rescheduling, allow cancellation, customer cabinet for new appointments, and authentication. So use WordPress users as customers. You can require the users to create an account so I'm going to turn those off, though, to remove that. You can have social logins with Google or Facebook. These are some default pages that you can use. And here's information, kind of basic information about your company. This thing where you would use this for users so like if you had an onboarding for a membership site or a training site, then you might use this. So very full featured. Here you can tweak the schedule. You can set days with custom schedules, have holidays, set your holidays and days off. There's a tax add-on. There are steps for the booking process. So you can customize those. You have some control over what displays in the booking form and some conversion tracking options. This is where you would set up your payments, your notifications. You can use default, you know, WordPress email or use the SMS add-on. Here's where you could tweak your email template your password reset form if the user is creating a WordPress user, the roles, and here's where you would activate your license and you're, we're using the latest version, you can go to the website and look at the system info and the installed add-ons. Then here are processes. So you have processes, scheduled jobs, activity log. You have integrations. So you have calendar, meeting, and marketing to be like the email integrations. And this is where you would add form fields and select which fields are required. You know, down here at the bottom, you have the option to go to WordPress. And let's go and add a new page. And we'll call this pre-sales call. And then you'll see that there's the option for a booking button or a booking form. So we'll do the form. It does not give us many options here. But you can hide the summary panel or the side panel. There are step options, other settings, such as the calendar start date, and you can set a name for styling. Okay, let's just publish this and go view the page. So here is the form. 
If we had more than one service, then they would be listed here. You can see this is a trial version of the plugin. So we'll go ahead and we'll say we want a pre-sales call. We'll select the agent. If there was more than one, they would show up here. And then we set the date and we'll have it at 10 to 11 and we'll put in our name. And email address. And we could add comments if we want. And then we do the next step. If we had set up an uh, option for uh, payment and we had set the cost for this service, then the payment form would show up here. But we haven't done that, so this is just a free option. We click Submit. And here's our confirmation code. We can add it to our Google Calendar. We can print it out. So that's kind of the booking process. Okay, let's go now back to the dashboard. We see there's nothing here because this is performance in the past. If we change the calendar, the time dates, we see we do have one appointment here. And here is our appointment. We can go in and look at it. We can change it if we need to. Here's the customer information. So that is late point and it's a very, very quick thumbnail view. Obviously, there's a lot you can dig into here. But what I wanted to do is just give you a very quick look at this because it is being introduced to brainstorm force customers and people may wonder what it brings to the table. And there are a number of booking options available. Is this the right one for you? Well, that's something you have to decide. But I'd say if you are in the Brainstorm Force ecosystem using ZipWP, Surecart, and using their theme and their plugins, then that's an extra reason to look at this. I think that the Late Point plugin is pretty full featured, and I'd say because it's been a Code Canyon only option up to now. It's kind of a sleeper. It's had time to develop and grow and mature and get features that some of the other plugins don't have yet. So that's the quick view of Late Point. If you're considering Late Point, I hope this video is useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.